This is a quick introduction to Motive 2.1, covering the new features and improvements in this release of Motive. We have made two major updates to Motive's interface as a part of the effort to improve the user experience. The device pane has been refreshed to offer easier controls, customizable property columns, and the ability to sort groups of devices based on their properties. We also added the ability to create selection groups of devices to speed up workflows consisting of a large number of devices. Selection sets were great along with our collapsible group headings. Device settings are now listed under the properties pane. Simply select a device in the devices pane or in the 3D view, then configure its settings in the properties pane. The dedicated synchronization pane has been removed these settings can now be configured under the Properties pane after selecting a synchronization device. The Builder pane is the new one-stop shop to create and edit rigid bodies and skeletons. It offers simplified ways to create rigid bodies for HMD clips and probes. The new skeleton model shows magenta markers to signify which markers can be moved slightly without affecting the solve quality. We have made significant improvements in the tracking quality of the rigid body based skeleton and drastically reduced how long it takes to set up. You now only need two out of the six rigid bodies, have your performer in a T pose, and Motive will automatically create the other rigid bodies and the skeleton. There are new skeleton marker sets for tracking fingers with active tags. These include a left and right hand model finger tracking with the passive baseline model, and finger tracking with the rigid body skeleton. The prime color camera is now better integrated into the device's pane. Many video export issues have been addressed, and visualizations have improved. Motive now supports Kistler force plates. Also a part of this release, all force plates, including Burtek plates, can now be synced with external clocking or with record triggering. The auto-select tracking algorithm for active marker rigid bodies has been improved to dynamically switch between ray-based and marker-based algorithms depending on the tracking quality. The indicators at the top of the 3D view can be used to toggle between live and edit or can be used to toggle between passive, passive plus active, and active tracking modes. The metrics in the control deck now displays graphs for real-time information. Motive now saves application profiles as a .motive file instead of a .xml file. Users can now choose to save just a subsection of the application settings into the motive file for easier management of the software configurations. We've updated the icons for motive profiles, calibrations, and take files to help distinguish these new file types. TTP and SKL files are no longer supported starting from this release. TRA files can still be loaded in this version, but cannot be saved. Instead, all asset and application information can now be stored in the .motive file. Thanks for watching. For more information, click on the link in the description below to the OptiTrack support wiki, where you can find full descriptions on everything in our software. This document is continuously updated and we frequently add tutorial videos, going in depth on some popular and important features. And as always, thanks for choosing OptiTrack.